Row 18, plot 20. Hey everybody, welcome to Now It's Dark. I'm Jim. Today we are bringing back a Saturday morning circus. And if you're not familiar with this segment, it is a segment that's bounced between this and one of my other channels a few times. It's where we highlight uh, horror movies that are predominantly clown-based horror films. And this is a new 2023 film, Hell House LLC Origins, The Carmichael Manor. Uh, one hour and 38 minutes. It is a uh, fourth installment in the Hell House series. It is a horror mystery. It's about a group of cold case investigators that stay at the Carmichael Manor. After four nights, the group was never heard from again. What is discovered on their footage is even more disturbing than anything found on the Hell House tapes. Stephen Cognetti brings us this by writing and directing it. And uh, Bridget Rosa Parada plays Margot Bentley. Destiny Liani Brown plays Rebecca Vickers. James Liddell, Chase Bentley. Gideon Berger plays Patrick Carmichael. Catherine Carmichael is played by Kayla Bergicani and Victoria Andrinic Margaret Carmichael. Those are like some of the main cast members. So it starts off very familiar uh, style with the um, kind of documentary. Uh, opening where we're having backstory filled in by these uh, people doing the documentary about the found footage, um, in particular about this group. So it bounces back and forth between like the documentary monologue uh, interview look to the actual found footage. And it even has clips from... Um, found reels from the original Carmichael's and gives a real big uh, insight into the whole where these clowns came from and the story behind the Carmichael's and um, the Abaddon Hotel and then the big fire uh, that are that are parts of the original three movies. And uh, having watched all of these, I really think I I really enjoyed the first one, of course, because it was new and it was the first one that I saw. But this one is right up there. I think the writing was really well done. I think they did a great job of weaving the story in and out of the other three movies. While this is not necessarily a fourth, it's, it's the fourth movie, but it kind of takes place in the sequ in the in the movies kind of one of those deals where we've made a movie, but it fits in between other movies. Um, but it gives us a lot of good backstory, and it really does this world building for Hell House to expand. And uh, I believe that's what the what the future is for this franchise, is that Shudder and uh, Stephen Cognetti will continue the series with more uh, Hell House LLC stories. Um, going with them. The clowns look amazing. I just always like those clowns. The the story tropiness of like, you know, an investigative group going to a potentially haunted location and then creepy stuff starts happening. Like that's not not, not original by any means. Um so you build like some drama between these investigators and then that adds to it. But the creepy value is definitely there, and it starts right off with good, good beginning, and um, like the sequences of the found footage. Typically, I'm not a fan of found footage anymore. Like I just am not. But this one worked for me. I was engrossed enough in these moments of found footage story that when they interrupted with the documentary giving more information. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot they're doing it this way. Like, and it happened more than once. And it only happens like four or five times. But I, a good two or three times, I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot. This is, um, you know, this is not us watching in real time. This is us being given the footage that is being covered by this documentary. Um, but it's easy to forget that. This is on Shutter, by the way. I mentioned it just a second ago. I mentioned it mentioned that at the beginning it has a 6.3 star rating on imdb which is very high uh, for this type of film 
Um, just trying to look at my notes here. There's there's a lot of cool stuff. There's um, like I said, they find some film reels when when a couple of the investigators go to this antique store in town that's uh, mentioned to them by the caretaker of the Carmichael Manor uh, when they arrive to have their five night stay. Um, the, the the movie does a really good job of also letting you know where we are within that five days um, because I also forgot that as well um, because it tells you you know night one night two night three night four and I'll tell you what the the suspense and scary and creepiness really amps up by night four and I, I just really enjoyed this film um, if you can make me forget like the way that this movie is being uh, presented to you in a good way, you know, that's a positive because like I said, I'm not a big huge fan of uh, found footage anymore. Um, but uh, this one has been getting really good reviews. I've been wanting to give a review for this for a while, but I wanted to wait until I brought the Saturday morning circus back. Um, yeah, so that just a quick reaction to this movie. Uh, not a whole lot of detail into the story because there's a lot of other videos that you can go to for that. But uh, let me know your thoughts on the Carmichael Manor and what you think the future of the Hell House LLC uh, should look like or what you'd like to see in the future. Um, definitely want to see more of those clowns, though, because clowns are funny. Clowns make you laugh, right? <laughs> Thank you.